All right, so basically I'm replying to just coming right here. I'm asking how to basically let the hitbox ignore the player that you know is punching or whatever. And I made a simulation which creates a hitbox in front of this part. And this part will, this part has a click detect inside of it, right? So yeah, <clears throat> it has a click detect inside of the part. And then every time the player clicks it, it makes a hitbox and then it ignores, um, it prints all the things that it like that is in that hitbox and then ignores um, the player who clicked the hitbox. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the script real quick. Actually, I'm going to show you before I go over the script. So when I click play and I go here, right, if I stand in front of it, it's going to make the hitbox and boom, see right here is where it's printing all the hitboxes or all the things that's inside the hitbox, okay? So if I click here, it prints the base plate, which is the base plate and the part itself because the part is also inside the hitbox, okay? And then um, basically how, how you want to do that is that um, you can just pause right here and just read the comments because the comments kind of explain it for itself if you want to do that. Um, if you want a verbal explanation, then continue playing. So basically, this is where you know we click the 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 part, and then it makes a hitbox, right? The function hitbox, and then inside the function hitbox, our main parameter is going to be player. We get the player's character, and then we start basically setting up the hitbox. So for the hitbox, we're going to be using the get parts in bounds, get get part bounds in box um, uh, method, right? And for that one, our our basically our uh, properties for those is going to be the C frame, which is going to be two studs in front of this part. We get the size, which is going to be five five five, and then we get the ignore list. So the ignore list is the part that you you need, okay? So basically, the ignore list is going to be everything everything that we want to ignore um, when we're when we're like basically making the hitbox, okay? So for example, we're going to ignore the character, which is going to be the player's character. So any, any parts that's inside the player's character and the character itself, we're going to ignore it. So that means that when we do return the hitbox table. It's not going to include any parts um, that's inside the character, even if the character was in that um, same position as the hitbox. Okay. So for the filter type, for this to even work, you want to make sure you set the filter um, the filter type to blacklist, because this basically ignores everything that's inside of this table. If we were to set it to whitelist, this will only get everything that's inside of the table. If that makes sense. So yeah, blacklist, whitelist, uh, depending on whatever you want, right? <clears throat> and then uh, f uh, to actually set those properties inside uh, to the uh, to actually set those properties to the the hitbox uh, thing, right? We we have to put it inside of the overlap param. So we're gonna make overlap params. It's basically the same parameters. It's basically the same thing as um raycast parameters if you're familiar familiar with that, right? So we have overlap params equals overlap params dot new, and then we set the filter type to the filter type that we defined up here, which is the blacklist, right? And then we set the filter the filter descendant instances to the ignore list, okay? So with this, it's just setting it to the it's gonna set it to the hitbox when we make it using the get parts, get part bounds in box uh, method. Okay. So after that, we we do local hitbox equals workspace get parts in bounds, and then we set the, basically the properties, right? C frame size and overlap params, which have the actual uh, the uh, the extra properties, like if if that makes sense, right? So basically, this is gonna carry over the filter the filter type, which is a blacklist, and the um the the instances that it should ignore, right? So when we do that, this is going to return a table of all the parts that it hit, and it's going to print out that table. So yeah, like I showed you guys earlier, if I would go here, and I would have, and, uh, and I would have clicked, oh my god, can't speak, and I would have clicked, right? It's going to only show the parts that are not, first of all, it's going to show the parts that were hit, and it's going to exclude all the parts that are inside the blacklist. So that's why you don't see, like, my legs or my torso or anything. But if I would have clicked um, this, right, and then I would have take out this thing from the blacklist leaving it blank right and I would go back and click it again as you can see it will now print out like you see my right leg left leg torso head human uh, humanoid root part uh, etc right so um, that's how you basically like not get the character inside of the hitbox if um, if that makes sense hopefully this tutorial helped you if you have any problems with the previous tutorials let me know down below and I'll try to make a video about that or respond to your comment as fast as possible. Thank you.